Hey everyone, as a huge thank you for getting to 21,000 subscribers so quickly after 20. Here are some gift card links. Whoever gets them, gets them. Just thought it'd be a fun thing to do. And thank you guys again. Unbelievable. Heinz Ward, the 1998 third round pick out of Georgia. Movie star, certified dance champion, and Super Bowl MVP. Heinz Ward has been retired since 2012. For me, that's mind-blowing. It's even more mind-blowing. The Steelers' all-time receiving leader isn't enshrined in Canton yet. Yes, statistically in the 2000s, there were better receivers. Owens, Moss, Harrison, that's just to name a few. Well, what do these stats generally miss? Heinz Ward played in a very, very run-heavy offense the majority of his career. Actually, the most run heavy. Pittsburgh ran the ball on 48.8% of its plays from 98 to 2011, which was in fact the most. Additionally, Hines is regarded as the best blocking wide receiver of all time, something that has never shown up in the average stat sheet and never will. Hines had 260 pound linebackers looking over their shoulders for the wide receiver that was half their size. He was routinely laying out guys as if it were nothing. How many other wide receivers had blocking rules made after them? When Hines was on the field, it was like having another 6'6", six 270-pound six, tight end on the field. Now if we wanted to dive into historic stats, Hines played in a franchise known for an electric pair of Hall of Fame pass catchers. Ward leads both of them. 12,083 yards, 85 touchdowns, and 1,000 receptions. And you can throw a rushing touchdown in there too. Not to mention, Ward has the hardware. Two Super Bowls, one Super Bowl MVP, sprinkle in nearly 1,200 yards, and 10 touchdowns in the postseason. I think it's fair to say, he is far overdue. The Hall of Fame is supposed to represent the legends of the sport, not that ridiculous Edelman chatter on the internet. Hines played the sport the right way. He wasn't throwing coolers when he didn't get the ball. He wasn't constantly trying to grab attention. He wanted to win. And after the AFC Championship loss to New England 04, that should never been in question. He always accepted his role, big or small. He played with everything he had, and in the eyes of many, well, in Pittsburgh at least, played football the way it was meant to be played, with nothing but heart and hustle, so much that Bane couldn't even take him down. Hines is the very definition of a Pittsburgh Steeler. I just want to get this off my chest. I know he'll eventually get in, but seeing guys like Kurt Warner or Terrell Davis, it just hurts my soul.